Yo, folks, what's going on? The whole card coming back at you. So, uh, <clears throat> we just finished up. Uh, well, today was Thursday at the uh, convention. Uh, really good. Um, spent a lot of time uh, diving through some uh, dollar boxes, looking for some, uh, <clears throat> looking for some bargains and stuff like that. Um, got to meet a few people. Uh, I met 502 Frank, and I uh, met the guys at Loot Box. I uh, got our picture we take with them, and if uh, you're not sure about Loot Box, Loot Box, I should say TV, um, go by Gin and Juice. Uh, two really good guys have a good channel. We do a lot of good content and everything. They're from Atlanta, like us, and when we were talking to them, uh, they actually talked to us about you know uh, meeting at a card shop and uh, doing some stuff together. So uh, excited to uh, excited to go ahead and do that. They're a really good sized channel. They're uh, you know I, I mean. Meeting them there, I mean, seem like great guys. Um, you know, from watching their videos and everything, you know, uh, you know they they are too. Uh, you know, they like I said, they they look at it, they they work well together. You know, again, another you know a pair of guys. Uh, their content is good. They do openings. You know, they do reveals. They do all that kind of stuff. They do a lot of you know high end stuff too, which is uh, really cool. <clears throat> um, so, you know, again, today started out, you know, getting there and just walking through and trying to pick out, you know, it's funny, at times you get there and it's a little, you know, um, it's overwhelming from a standpoint of is you like, you don't know where to go. I mean, because, you know, the, it, it's so big, it's whatever, 400,000 square feet, there's, um, you know, I don't know, 500 tables, 600 tables, you know, and uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just it's, it's, and it's all different stuff too, which is cool. Like there is some really old, old stuff, uh, you know, uh, you know, bats and relics stuff from you know, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and all that time frame, and then you know all the way up through you know uh, where we are today. Um, what do you think about today, Mike? Uh, yeah, that was really cool. <clears throat> I mean, I expected it to be big, and it was big. Um, other than that, I mean, cool seeing some of the guys we spent a lot of time at card collectors too dollar boxes so it was cool didn't get to meet him saw him hopefully within the next couple of days we'll be able to meet him hopefully grab a picture too but uh we dealt with his wife nice lady as you can see through the videos and stuff so i mean a lot of these people what you see on youtube is what you're getting in real life which is really cool nobody's putting on a face for the camera or anything um but so far this is my pc stack i've got and then this is my selling stack all from, uh, this whole stack is all from Dollar Bin. So, you know, you got your high rookies like uh, Prospects in the Miners. You got some older Blue Bob, some older Tatis I found all for a buck. So, can't complain when you find those in a Dollar Bin because, you know, always make a profit on those. So, nice to get some of that stuff. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, my stack i didn't divide my stack up yet but it's probably about half and half or so i would say half a pc and and half to uh to look to go ahead and so like we said you know we we you know uh we've been talking to pittsburgh and he's been giving us tips and you know we're trying to go ahead and you know uh, get an auction together another thing that uh we did today was and a lot of people may not have he ever heard of this company but it's called wildcard and i remember them from back there, probably about 30 years ago, they were around, and um, I have some of their cards. I I have one for sure, maybe two sealed boxes, uh, you know, uh, with packs in them from back then. But as part of our package, uh, we got a free four pack of cards, you know, from them. And their cards are, you know, they're they're uh, they're pretty cool, uh, you know. They, there's you know, there's this one here, nothing, you know, plain, you know, and everything. But then it was pretty cool, and then we'd get, you know, they have some some shine and stuff. You know, so that's your Oklahoma quarterback. I mean, it was a pretty good pack for me, because I got a shine of, you know, uh, Justin Fields. And then, uh, actually, you know, got a Trevor Lawrence. So, they're a pretty cool card. I mean, they're, you know... Uh, they had some really, they had this one thing that it was expensive. It was $1,500 for 22 cards. Um, but 18 of the cards, it's only, you basically get the whole set. 
but there's 22 cards you get uh, 18 autographs out of this box that you buy so uh, and uh, there was one guy that we were talking to he got actually um, three uh, Justin Fields autographs out of his uh, box along with other stuff so it was, it, it was good and everything um, you know walking around we didn't do any autographs today uh, we we may not do any autographs you know up until I mean, there's one autograph for sure um, but you know it's kind of hard to make the time you know when you're because you you start getting involved and walking around and looking in the booths and doing all the other kind of stuff you know then it's hard to remember oh my gosh I have to go and get an autograph done um, <clears throat> but all the big all the big you know all the big players here Panini has a huge spot Tops has a huge spot and they were doing all kinds of stuff uh, pristine auctions uh, who else um, all of it blowout cards is, has a huge uh, very very large uh, space uh, panini obviously I think I just said that uh, HGA uh, has a, a a nice size booth also so uh, JSA PSA is doing grading I think CSG is doing grading they have kind of like an area where they do kind of like a uh, a panel or discussion board where you know you can go up and listen to people talk uh, sports card investor uh, was there, you know, talking and everything, but, uh, you know, overall, it's, um, it's very, very interesting, there are a lot of high dollar cards here, a lot of high dollar cards here, and, uh, you know, it's cool to see them, you know, uh, it's cool to look and see, you know, a, you know, a, a Luca for 25 grand and stuff like that, and be like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, uh, from that standpoint, um, you know, and it's weird because you don't know, you know, you, you don't, it's, it's a treasure hunt, but you really have no idea what is going to be at the next table. You really don't. Um, you know, you, you think you see something all of a sudden, wow. Uh, the patch cards out of uh, Playbook, holy cow. Some of that, that we saw one that was, a, what is it, eight patch Herbert mm -hmm. with an autograph. Yep. Eight patches, eight, and patches were multicolor patches plus an autograph. So, really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, if you've never been to a card show before, uh, you know, and if this was like the first one, I mean, it really is kind of wow. But I would tell you, go to look, go to your local card shows. Yeah, you might not see, you know, Michael Jordan rookies and and or and and uh, Luca rookies, and you know, even think about you know some of the baseball player, you know, Trout rookies and Otani rookies. You know, but you'll see a lot of cool stuff. So, you know, definitely go to uh, you know a card show if you uh, if you get a chance. It really is. Uh, it, it really is cool. Uh, it really is cool. I mean, I don't. You know, we've been you know we've been here for a day and a half, and I'll tell you right now, we haven't hit you know a day and a half's worth of tables because when you like get to the when you get to how long did we spend with Card Collector Two? How long were we sitting there just going through the dollar bins? Yeah, 30, 45 minutes, just that one, looking through, you know, hundreds of cards, looking for stuff, uh, you know, so, and, you, you know, you could spend a lot longer, and we stopped, I mean, like, we, I didn't, we, I was going through baseball, and, you know, and a little bit of basketball, but I didn't go through all the baseball, I went through, like, you know, one, four box, one row, one box that had four rows of baseball, and there was probably three more that I didn't go through, so, uh, definitely worth it. Um, you know, if you got any questions, please go ahead and, you know, uh, you know, let them, uh, leave them below, uh, like this video, comment, please, uh, share, give, you know, give you do the whole thumbs up and everything. Um, we, uh, you know, <clears throat> our, our, uh, our break, uh, open teams that we had, we put them on eBay starting at $5.99. So there's a link to the eBay store below. So check it out. Um. There are still teams I like the Brewers and the Cubs and uh, the Marlins, the Tigers. So there are still some, uh, still some teams that um, go ahead and have some uh, have some decent amount of cards in the uh, in the five card if the five box break that we're doing. But so, that's getting cracked open August sixth. So no matter what happens <clears> with those teams on eBay, we're ripping it live on August sixth <throat> right here on the YouTube channel. So uh, stay tuned for that. And like we said. Teams that don't sell, unfortunately, we'll just have to keep them for ourselves. So if any hits hit, 
it'll be ours and either get graded or up on uh, to sell. So stay uh, on the lookout for those. Yeah. So uh, check it out. And um, with that, hey, thanks a lot for sticking around. Appreciate you uh, spending time with us. And uh, we will go ahead and you'll see us tomorrow uh, with another. We'll have the Friday update. You'll get that one Saturday morning as we continue to go through. And uh, we'll probably get to the point to where we've looked around and, and had some ideas of things we want to get. So we may, you know, maybe buy some, some maybe a little bit bigger stuff uh, rather than the dollar bin. Uh, or the or the four dollar bin, you know, uh, coming up here. But hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for sticking around. We love you, to one of you. Thanks for keep coming back, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow with another update.